welcome to art vlog number three. For this week seven, it is about coffee painting. Coffee painting is a beautiful art from a common household item. Though this art is monochromatic, the potential is limitless. The medium that we will use is coffee. Before we start, do you know that there are good benefits of coffee? The coffee helps you to boost your physical performance. It also helps you to focus and stay alert, and it used to relieve mental fatigue. But for our activity for this week, we will use it for art. For this activity, you need to prepare the following materials. First, the watercolor paper, Osla paper or bond paper, pencil, coffee, mixing plate or any plate, brush, tissue or cotton, and masking tape. If you already have the materials, let's begin! Phase 1 the coffee mixture. Step 1. Drop some instant coffee powder onto a mixing plate. By drops of water, moisten the coffee powder. Wait for the coffee to dissolve and mix well with a brush. On our discussion last time, I mentioned that the formula for the mixture will be half tablespoon or teaspoon and 5 drops of water. On my mixing plate, I divide it into the variation that I will make. If you can't balance the amount of water using brush, you may use half tablespoon or measuring spoon. Here's a technique when you put amount of water. Make sure the dark pigment has less amount of water and the lightest has more water on it. As you notice, if you mix the different mixture, the dark pigment has thick liquid and the light pigment has light liquid. the paper. Step 2. Place a newspaper on your table. Get watercolor or Osta paper and stick it onto your table using masking tape. Catching. Step 4. Begin sketching on your paper to create an outline. Once you have the outline, it's time to start the painting. Phase 4, Coloring For step 1 in coffee painting, use light pigment and apply onto the paper. It will give base background. If you don't have any big brush, you may use cotton, but be careful with the amount of water. Start off with the dark areas using dark pigment. It will give you the areas that you need to watch out when you paint when you use the different mixtures or the pigments. Be careful with the amount of water so that the paper will not be wrinkled or soggy. In using watercolor, 
we use more amount of pigment to emphasize the object we want to color. But, in using coffee, you need to add more dark coffee pigment to make the object be seen clearly. For lighter details, add more amount of water and blend it with the medium variations. And for the details, don't forget to use dark pigment. You may use dry brush technique to create textured stroke. And lastly, wait for the paint to dry. Draw the outline very lightly using the pencil. And there you have it, your coffee painting. You can use this technique with different themes. Also, when it dries, you will notice that the texture is glossy. To keep you on track of this activity, here is our timeline. For coffee painting, we have two meetings. For week 7, you need to turn only the picture of your artwork on the assignment post. You just focus with your artwork but don't forget to make your art documentation that you will insert for your week 8. And for week 8, put the picture of your artwork and art documentation on the ePortfolio. If you have question about our activity, don't hesitate to shoot it on our Padlet or email us. Thank you for watching this art vlog. Keep the creativity burning. See you on the next art vlog. Bye!